Metrics Marketing Optimization in San Francisco. I'm here with uh, Bob Page, Vice President at Analytics at eBay. Welcome, Thank Bob. you. Thanks, David. So, uh, Bob, I'd like to, you've been to lots and lots of eMetrics, and mm -hmm. I'd like to, what have you seen this time that, I don't know, some trend or some really interesting things that you, you've seen uh, at this show? I think uh, I'm seeing a mature maturation where many years ago it was all about uh, getting the most out of a tool or figuring out what the tool is. Um, and what I'm seeing, what I've seen over time, whether it be um, new measures of, of uh, metrics, like whether it be about engagement or whether it be about attribution, th these sort of ebb and flow um, as we get more and more mature. Uh, getting our um, executive leadership to become more involved in analytics, uh, driving a culture of analytics. But what I'm seeing really this time, uh, I'm seeing, a, maybe it's, I'm looking for it, because it's a focus for me, uh, is uh, how to do integration, how to integrate all the different kinds of data in the enterprise so that you've got one view of what's happening in your business, not many segmented views. Okay. And one of the, I saw your uh, keynote last in metrics on uh, Washington DC. Right. And you spoke about the huge amounts of data you have uh, at eBay. Yeah. So how do you deal, how, how do you choose what to measure when you have so much data available? Fortunately, uh, hardware and software have progressed to such a degree that we are uh, have the luxury of being able to not have to choose right now. We're capturing everything. So um, everything that, that happens on the site um, we're bringing in and we're storing it, and then we're making use out of it as we can. Uh, new technologies have emerged that have allowed us to unlock uh, uh, things beyond sort of being able to create a data warehouse with structured tables. Um, we still have that, and it's our main uh, analytical powerhouse, uh, but for many of the deep dive, data mining, scoring, and sort of the new wave of the analysts who are coming on board, um, we're leveraging other technologies as well like Hadoop, which is really kind of a new thing for us. Um, and um, uh, it requires a lot of hardware, but it, re but it requires software that uh, will, uh, will let us get the most out of it. And we're seeing both and the people who can use it. Okay. So that's the, that's a long answer to your question. We, we don't, we try to keep everything. Not forever, but you know, for as long as it makes sense. And and how do you, well, there are many things that you cannot measure, things like leadership and uh, the culture that uh, is in the company. Right. So how, how do you measure you measure the, your success in improving the culture and the leadership of the company? Uh, so that's a good question. When I, when, I, when I answered your question before, it was really more about the customer experience. Um, how does the site perform? How, how, do, how are the customers happy? Are sellers happy? Do we have buyers who can buy things quickly? Um, you know, do they trust the, uh, the marketplace, et cetera? Um, how is the infrastructure working? H to answer how is the management working or how is the, the leadership or how is the data-driven culture, um, that's something that really starts at the top. It has to start at the top. And um, I think uh, eBay's fortunate in that we have leadership that believes strongly in the metrics and in the numbers uh, to make sure that what we're doing is um, yeah, a, measurable, and B, we've got targets across everything. Uh, and so what that means is meetings start out oftentimes with very tactical um, uh, overview of what happened in the past day or the past week, how, how are we doing, what are we doing about it, and then we'll go into more strategic kinds of questions. Uh, but there's a lot of discussion of data all the time. Okay, and what, one of the things that I, I think uh, changed last year and, well, We've been uh, calling our industry uh, web analytics for right. a long time. Yep. And last year, I think probably uh, one very important uh, happening was the acquisition of uh, uh, Unica and uh, Core Metrics by IBM. Mm -hmm. And I think that that shows a little bit on how the all the source of data are integrating into one or more tools. Mm -hmm. So today we have web and we have many other sources of data like finance and, and other types of data so how do you see these integrations or this immersion well I think uh, you know given the fact that we are um, we're developing two uh, different technologies for analytics for the web data I don't think that there's going to be one massive know-it-all has every piece of data in the enterprise it doesn't make any sense uh, the use cases don't support it. 
So we will continue to have silos. And I think the reason is that those silos are best of breed. So whether it be um, uh, your financials uh, in SAP, for example, um, and your um, web analytics uh, in, say, Omniture or something, um, there's going to need to be a way where you roll it up at a higher level. I don't know that there's really any great tools right now that I could recommend off the shelf that would just do that. I think that's sort of an internal uh, effort or something that you outsource. Uh, but I think being able to integrate it is important. I think right now the field is pretty young in that regard. Interesting. So, what is one advice that you would give a, a CEO that is looking to, to create a data-driven data culture mm -hmm. on, on the company? I would say um, you have to supply the leadership. You have to be able to not just want it, you've got to live it. And that means you've got to demand data, you've got to ask for the results uh, of your staff and they in turn of their staff. You've got to make sure that you're not asking for seven million things, but that maybe five or six things that are critical to, critical to your business that if they are trending one way or the other, you'll make a change. Because if you won't make a change when you see the data, don't measure it, right? Or don't report it, don't worry about it too much. Um, beyond, a, beyond the financial quarterly sheets, there's going to be daily activity, there's going to be voice of the customer, there'll be sentiment analysis, there'll be all kinds of things. Um, but I think you need to, you as a CEO, right, need to, to open your meetings with, um, you know, what's the latest? What are the numbers of looking like? And what are we doing about making them better or, or worse? So let's just just to close a somewhat personal question: What makes you really happy about your job, and what makes you frown sometimes? Well, I I love the job I have. Um, I get to build technology uh, and leverage it where we have the intersection of products, people, machinery, uh, process, all comes together, where we're able to drive the business forward through data. I, I, I think data should be the center of the universe, right? It should drive everything. Um, and I get a chance to do that. So uh, having someone use it is really what makes me happy, right? Just building it is not enough. But getting to a place where people are using it, making decisions based on it, it you know, is the best thing. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You bet. Thanks very much.